well, I've got my crystal comet here. Uh, this is my amethyst crystal, and I use it as a pendulum. And this is in order to predict which card you're going to have. So, uh, welcome. Anyway, I'm Eleanor Grace, and tonight, well, it's tonight here in the UK in London. I know where you are. It's probably early afternoon, uh, but I am in a British pub, and here this evening we are doing a psychic night, and this is at a, a wonderful pub in Elstree near the film studios in London, and it's called The Battle Axes. So, anybody out there that's watching or wanting to go to a really super place when you visit London then come here to the Battle Axes and uh, you'll be very very welcome indeed so our psychic night is extremely busy lots of readings all night with me and my colleagues and clairvoyance, spirit crystal ball, cards we've got it all and we've got it all for you as well here this evening so my crystal pendulum here is the comet that I use and this will connect through to one of my cards so you can see my cards here and these are very very special romantic Victorian cards so you can see here that we have the lovers this is about two people talking very very closely together making plans making arrangements so is that the one that you're going to get on a reading with me so I'm Eleanor Grace and you can get a hold of me all of my details you can book a appointments you can have a look at your weekly stars you can read some of my psychic blogs you can read some of my stories and if you're in the UK you can see all of the psychic nights and holistic events that are available go to my website gracedestiny.com and there you can read up all about your favorite topics and a book a psychic reading and you can now pay in dollars which is even amazing as well so welcome, welcome here uh, to our show. We are combining with A1R, Psychic Radio, and Moonstruck TV, uh, one of the most prolific production teams that there are uh, on Earth for all of our psychic talents. So welcome to the show. So this evening, I'm using my pendulum. I'm also going to be using crystal ball. I'll show this to you now. Uh, here I've got one of my very special quartz crystals. This one has got citrine in it and the citrine crystal really shows up some abundance for you and some wealth as well in opportunities that are going to come your way and also in a very distinct um, form of opening up some doors and that's what I look for here in the crystal when we illuminate the ball we can look straight through we can welcome spirit in to the room and this is a haunted section that we're in in this particular pub here the battle axes here in L Street near London near the film studios and this particular area is haunted it's John, who lives here. He's a very ancient spirit. And he's been here for a long, long time. So I'm now going to talk to Alia in Buffalo, New York. Aliyah. Yes, hello. I'm here. Hello. Hi, how are you, Aliyah? Uh, what a pretty I'm good. name. How that are is. you? Yeah, good. I'm I'm really good. I'm just explaining to the audience that I'm here in a British pub and we're doing a psychic night. I'm holding up my crystal ball and I'm asking for spirit to come forward. And I'm in a haunted section of this pub. And there's a spirit called John who is uh, occupying this space. And uh, he's been showing a few appearances every now and again. But Aaliyah, I want yes. to have a look at you. Okay. Now, there's... Um, a long distance uh, that I'm being shown here in your crystal ball, it indicates that um, there's big, big distances between you and someone special. So there's a long distance yes. between, is that correct? Is that what the, yes. the situation is with you? It's like a, a long distance relationship or connection. Um, yes. But but don't don't worry about this, Leah, because it's it's perfect. You know, there's nothing that's going to crumble. There's nothing that's going to go wrong. You're 
connection is strong. Uh, your route forward is even stronger. I can see a pathway that is um, very solid. It's like gold, you know. Um, it's not the yellow brick road. It's not going into the distance anywhere. It is the pathway that you're walking on now, Aaliyah. Um, okay. It's full of promise. And I think some unexpected twists and turns are there as well, but they always will be in life. But I feel that you are protected um, by spirit. You've got souls in spirit that are around you and they are coming close to you as well, sort of giving you a sense of um, destiny. And that's what you have around you at the moment, this great sense of destiny and well-being. And you will feel it, particularly in a subconscious state. So when you're asleep, when you're dreaming, make a note of your dreams and remember who you've thought about whether you've thought about a parent or both parents um, because I feel that that's that's very very strongly connected to you I want to give you um, the initial of L L for Layla I think it is Layla is that Leah yes it could be it could be who is that to you Oh, that's me. Um, you said yeah. an L. Um, yeah. Is, is it somebody currently alive? Lily. She's my cousin. Yeah, it will be. There's a shout out to him um, because I feel that there's a need that he has to to look after himself at the moment. And maybe you're going to help with that. But there's a message coming down from Spirit for you to do that from the cosmic orders. Um, I think you've been making lots of wishes here and wanting yeah. things to change in your life as well. And I've mentioned already there are some twists and turns, but you can can make things happen remarkably so you're not going to fail and you must get rid of this sense of foreboding I've already mentioned you've got destiny that is around you destiny is creeping up on you quite quickly and there's someone special that loves you so very much I've got hearts here hearts entwined in your crystal ball but apart from the hearts this is you taking care of other people children in particular do you have three children I've got three little ones here in the crystal no, I ball. Have one, one son. One son. Okay. Um, are there another two children around his age that come to your house regularly or, you know, are in your family? Because there's definitely three here. I'm going to give you that as something to watch for because um, sometimes it's not about you producing more children, but it's about you having connections to somebody else's children and that they will play a a big part in your future. So I'm going to to give you that. Um, So your relationship, is this the long distance that I'm seeing here, Leah? Um... No, it's not long distance. Me and him just hung out and things moved too fast and he just kind of like been distant. He's blocked me. Ah, that's what it is then. That's what it relates to. That's okay. As long as it's not physical and it's more of a sense of, oh, you know, when can we get this back together? When can we, you know, start this all over again? So I'm going to just take a couple of cards here and use my pendulum as well to do that because it is important to remember that we've all got choices. So here we've got some... Uh, real connections that are going strongly and I'm just going to take some cards and let's see what this one drops down on this is about him ah right okay this is your card so we've got the rose pendulum here we've got the ace as well um the ace of wands now this is very very much trying too hard uh, were you did you find yourself trying too hard with him yes, is it, yes, uh, yes. sort of putting every effort in not getting it back and really feeling as though you were wasting your emotions and your feelings um, yes. i also i also feel there was a lot of frustration around this man and he couldn't he couldn't see what was good for him really he could only see the problems and maybe he yeah. does does need some time just to sort himself out to sort out those issues so that he 
can be, uh, I think, you know, a different man again. And I feel that that's very important for you to understand that it wasn't your fault here. You didn't okay. actually do anything wrong as far as he was concerned or anybody else, actually. Right. I feel that this was more his issue. And I think you were also being compared as well to past relationship that he had. So somebody yeah, because in, he was talking in, about his child's mother a lot. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's the comparison. That's what I was going to because this is the, the the woman that is in tears here, and he's sort of stoically by her side. And I, I feel that this is um, your connection as to why everything just sort of went, and it did. It went sort of horribly wrong, not because of you. So don't okay. take that on board yourself. Now, um, King of Wands here. This is him again, and I think that there will be an attempt of a reconciliation as well. So I do think that he's going to make a few efforts here with you um, because he knows, I think, that he's in the wrong here. I think he knows, too, that he should have, he should have sorted himself out. Um, however, in saying that you've got the king that's here, I feel as well that there is somebody new on the horizon and somebody else who I think will play quite a strong part here in your future. You've got the hermit here around your current man who's been very distant, very difficult really to manage. And he, I feel, will just keep himself away for a while. You know, he's going to take some time out. He's going to be very difficult to reach. And you will feel very frustrated with that situation. Sad as well. There's upset around you, tears to come. But don't cry for too long because um, once he sees that you are moving forward and that you are unable really to just stay where you are then this is what will happen next and that is he will see that there's somebody else that's coming in and around your life and he will also see that this is somebody that you can be very happy with there's great success in this card here for you and yes. it's riding high. Now, changes are around you here. Um, and this is in June, towards the end of this month and July. Okay. So these next two months are very important. So it's sort of standing tall, you know, looking the world straight in the eye, doing all of those very positive things that you know that you can do so very well and taking no notice of this really difficult impasse that you have because things are about to change. Somebody is walking towards you. Remember, I've seen three children in your future. Remember yeah. that, you know, two of those can actually belong to somebody else or you um, but that's an option for you and okay. this is possible this is possible I do want to give you that initial of L because I think as well as it being your initial of your name it's going to come in with somebody that you're about to meet and your cousin does need to have some help at the moment so maybe do a yes. bit of a reach out to him yeah um, and let let him um, just have a bit of benefit of uh, maybe being able to openly speak about his issues. So that's your reading here. It's a short reading for live on air, but you can come through and follow up with a personal reading with me, and that's on gracedestiny.com. So do do that, thank and thank you so much for being with us thank here you. and sharing your time. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. And I do have another call online um am i with is it sharon yes it is hello there sharon hi give you a quick wave that there um i'm eleanor so let me have a look at a couple of cards here for you and you're from halifax in canada sharon well that's a long yes. way from me i'm in london in the uk so we always talk about the weather. So how's the weather there for you in Halifax in Canada? Is it bright skies or not? 
It's bright skies, but we haven't You're been a... getting really good temperatures yet. Oh, <laughs> well, I'm very pleased about the bright skies. <laughs> okay, so you've got the emperor <laughs> here. Right. Do you have a father in spirit, do you? Yes, I do, but, but he's, um, he's, I, I don't want to, you're only doing spirit readings, are you? Um, no, I'm not. I'm doing all of it. I always do. It's a combination with me. Your father is with you. That's all I want to say. Um, and he's wanting to be remembered to you because it's come through straight away in your cards. Now, what I'm connecting to you is that you've been through a bit of a battle recently. So this will be a turmoil in your emotions, in your energy, and you're trying very hard to push forward and to get somewhere. And I feel your frustration. It's, it's like you're wanting to you know, really push a boulder up a mountain. So I'm looking into my crystal here. This is a fabulous crystal uh, with quartz and also citrine that's in it. And what I can see is a lot of movement. So this boulder that you've been pushing up this mountain for a very long time, you're almost at the top and it's about to go down the other side. So it's trickling away. Um, the effort, the energy that you're putting in has been immense over the years. And now you're about to reap the rewards. And that's something that is often very difficult to see because we always just keep going one day after the next. But there's a breakthrough for you. Are you planning on a move? Are you wanting to move your home or to purchase another property? Because I see buildings here in your crystal. Do you know what that means to you, Sharon? Well, <clears throat> I am, um, I'm talking to two guys and I already had a reading on the first guy. And things are not smoothing out on that in, in a certain way. And the other guy is like, I have a real big interest in him and, and he wants me to deal with him. And I'm on a turmoil about that. Well, you're going to move with him because it's a move that yeah. you're making. I can see the frustration. I can see the turmoil emotionally with your feelings. And I think you've been trying to get here for a long time. So the, the big opportunity for you is just to say, yes, I'm going to do it. And there's no guarantees in life. We all know that. We can't guarantee oh, yeah. that something is, is going to be perfect. But I do feel that for you, this is a really good move. It's signaled here straight away. I connected to you with um, moving on and moving premises. There's buildings here. You've got to go from one to another. Now, often when I see buildings, rooms, premises in the crystal ball, it also reflects back onto your mindset and the rooms represent different areas of your mind. So what your thoughts are, what your thinking is going to be, how you can move from one set of um, rules to another. So it often gives a bit more of a culture change or a change in the design of your life, the structure of your life, and the, often the person that you're going to be with. But when you make this move, you've got to stop really thinking about doubts and fears and take a hold of this opportunity really with both hands and say, do you know what? I'm going to do this and I'm going to enjoy it. It's going to be the most um, amazing adventure that I've ever had. And you can always have a safety valve. You can always have, you know, some money put away, some uh, facilities that make you feel secure. Um, you can always have a back door. And that's personal for you here, Sharon. But the move forward is to be with him and to accept his kind, loving generosity and see it like that because there's happiness here. I'm going to just take a couple of cards and let's see if the cards will reflect what I can see here in the crystal ball for you as well. And it's really quite special, isn't it? Sort of where you're making a lot of headway here. Don't take any notice of this woman, okay? This is a friend or a 
relative, somebody around you, person who has influence over you and a person that tries to tell you what to do. And what I'm seeing here is that she's interfering, that her influence is of no importance or significance, but some people don't really want others to be that successful or happy. It's just a part of human nature. So right now, you're removing yourself from negative influences. And that does mean that you will have to let go of people who are not prominent in your future. And this lady isn't. Do you know who she is? Do you know who I'm talking about here? No, I have no idea because I make my own decisions. And, okay. And, uh, and I'm not close to any woman right now, not even my mother. <laughs> okay. Well, I want I want you, Sharon, to remember that um, because there is a woman there who is in between you and this pathway to your future. It may be an ex that belongs to the new man here in your life. Um, I wouldn't discount that. That's a possibility. Yeah, that is a possibility. Yeah, yeah. Um, because the woman is. I'm seeing her. It's in your cards as a person who gets in the way you know, stops this great abundance from happening quicker than you would like. So now I think it's just important for you to really concentrate your world onto him and don't allow him either to be thinking about his past because, you know, we've all got one and we've all got somebody who would prefer to be more prominent in our lives than they actually are. Um, so that's where you draw a line and you say, OK, that's it. We're done. You know, we're starting afresh. We're starting new. Does he live quite some distance from you? Is he far away from you? He's in New York, New York City. OK. OK. Um, so that is quite a way, isn't it? You know, I don't I'm not yeah. familiar yeah. with the territories in the States as I'm from London in the UK. And we're a very small country in comparison. So anywhere <laughs> like that would, see, would, would seem a huge distance for me. So that's probably what I'm seeing here. It's a very long way. Um, but yes, um, make the move. Oh, do make the move and feel confident because there is this back door that is there for you as well. Let me just take a, a couple more cards here for you as we're coming uh, towards the end of your reading here. Well, you've got the sun. Now, wow, that's amazing. The sun is shining for you. That's a card that you've drawn. It brings in a lot of happiness and genuine affection as well from the man who is really giving you this sense of um good fortune for your future so very prominent i feel here and you've also got um this sense of dimension so money is there in your future you've got security with assets around you this is a card that is one of cups so it's bringing in energy and also some healing as well so the man who you've obviously had as an option as somebody that maybe, maybe not, you know, is there. He is going to surprise you. This is the other man who you seem to have a choice on. And he will surprise you because he also um, sort of turns around and comes good. And it's not what you will be expecting at all. You will just not expect that you'll have all of this balance and harmony this is temperance a card that you've just drawn and the temperance card really shows you that this is your time now you're coming into a time that everything is about balance about you trying to really put yourself first so at the moment you're trying to weigh things up very carefully um pros and cons if i do this with this the right thing if i do that would that be the right way to go in essence you have to make a decision so decisions are prominent in your reading but also it is about you taking the right um pathway so your crystal ball yet is here again 
So here we're going to look into the illuminated crystal, and this is one full of quartz energy. Um, you're going to be feeling better, and September is a month that is a turning point for you. So when I see this low energy around you, is that because you've been wearing yourself out? Because you're being given lots of blue light. So it's a healing blue. Wear blue, have blue around you. Um, it's like this lovely light blue color, which is very spiritual as well. So um, I do I do feel spirit is with you. I did have your father as well, who came in straight away, right at the beginning of your reading. And he's close by. He's going to make things a lot easier for you. And when spirit promised that, I mean, it's really quite fabulous because it's just like having um, everything in Disney color. And that, I think, is very special for you. So eyes wide open here, Sharon, and do be prepared to say yes. I do don't think that you will regret it. So thank you so much for coming in on the show. And I do hope you've enjoyed your reading all the way from London here in the UK. Um, so I wish you a farewell and best of luck with your next plan. There we thank are you. then. So that's my pleasure. My pleasure, Sharon. And we'll see you again soon. So that's me then signing off now from London in the UK. It has been a pleasure. I'm Eleanor Grace and my website is gracedestiny.com. See you next time.